let's talk about customer specific pricing. Now you may ask, what is the customer specific pricing in our software? And what that is, it's a way to build a list of items that you know that this customer typically takes. Now this comes into play later. When you're using the mobile devices, it actually, if you build this list, your technicians, it makes their life a million times easier. When they're working a route ticket on the website, they're going to have a button that says load customer specific pricing. If you put 10 items in that list, when they hit that button, it'll load those 10 items. Maybe one of them is a service item to charge every time. Maybe you have some chemicals you need to charge every time you show up on site. And it also gives you the ability to set specific prices for each charge. So maybe you charge one customer $50 as a service fee to show up every week. Maybe you charge the next customer $75 because they have a bigger location. You can use the same item and give one customer a $50 charge and one a $75 charge. And when your techs hit the button to load customer specific pricing, it brings those charges into the device, puts them in the ticket, and then all your techs have to do is adjust the quantity. This also comes into play if you're not using the mobile devices. You can set these items into your customer specific pricing for each customer. And when you auto generate the tickets to print them out, um, those receipts essentially will have the items along with the special pricing associated with each customer. So now that you know what it is, it's an extremely helpful tool and a majority of our customers use this. It's one of the biggest things that people set up when they first get the software. So I'm going to show you a little bit about this real quick here. Right now we're looking at the route schedule. And what I find is that most people that have routes also need that customer specific pricing. So right from the route schedule, you can either go to customer info, customer list, and then click on the customer, double click them to get into the detail of that customer. Or right from the route schedule while you're building this, you can double click the name to drill into their profile essentially here. Once you're in here, to set up customer specific pricing, you're going to click on this pricing tab. And you're going to see that I already have two items in here set up for this customer. If you want to add more, you can click Edit Pricing. So basically, this is a list of your line items. You could select whichever item you want here. You can add a special description if you'd like. And then you want to give it a price, whatever you charge this customer for this specific item. From here, you also can associate this with different frequencies. Maybe Brazil Food Market shows up on your route schedule five times, and you have five different frequencies, maybe a weekly, a monthly, a daily, et cetera. You can give different pricing based off each frequency also. So maybe I want to charge a dollar for this specific item while on site if it's a monthly frequency. You can also add classes to track that, but it's not needed. And you can give it a default quantity number. So when you hit load pricing, for example, this service item, because every time I show up on site every week, I'm going to charge this customer a service fee. Um, you can put the service charge here. And then you can tell it, when I load that pricing, make sure that quantity is set to one so my tech doesn't even need to go in and adjust the quantity. Anything that you leave blank will default to zero. So your techs will have all the items load, but maybe they don't need a quantity right off the bat. Maybe they want them to load to zero, and then if your techs use anything, then they drill in to adjust the quantity. That'll all be shown in the mobile device video, but for now we're going to focus on the desktop because you can only set this up in the desktop. This is a big part of setting up the software, as I said earlier. It is something that if you put the time in, it, the rewards are great. So if we need to add any new items or change one, first thing is you have to hit Edit Pricing. Once it's red, that means you can adjust stuff. And then you can go to the bottom line and just start adding whichever items you want. Now there's also some really good tools here. You can leave it blank. It'll work for every frequency. Once you have the pricing set, let's, let's say mo as most companies do, you may have a hundred customers with the same exact set of items, the same exact charges, um, basically the same customers over and over, or at least the work you're doing for them is the same. And that's great. We have tools for that. Instead of making you do this a thousand times over, let's say you build one customer, get their items the way you want them, 
hit edit pricing to save that. Now it's all saved in stone here. The next option we can do, let's say Brazil Food Market is one of our customers, and we know for sure that another customer on here, maybe Pueblo Viejo, they take the same exact items with the same exact charges. Once you've built this, just click Copy Customer Pricing and go right down here to the bottom. It says, which customer do you want to copy your pricing from and who do you want to give it to? Well, we're going to go ahead and copy from Brazil Food Market. And we're going to copy that pricing to, there they are, Pueblo Viejo. And then hit Copy Pricing. As soon as it's done, it'll say, yes, I would like to do this. As soon as it's done, it's going to say complete. And you can do others. Maybe you want to copy this uh, onto Fernando's Dockside Grill because you know that they're going to take the same exact thing. Just repeat the process over and over. Now, if we were to close this and go into a different customer, such as this one here, click on pricing, you're going to see that they have the same exact pricing copied here. The only thing that changes that you will need to adjust, possibly, is the frequency. Because it's very rare that your customers will have the same frequency. So by default, you may need to go in and just adjust your frequencies. But other than that, the main pieces stay the same. It gives you the default quantity. and It'll give you the price that you've set in the earlier ones. This is a huge tool, as I said. I would really recommend doing this. The other thing that you do you want to see this customer preferred pricing, you can go to item info, customer preferred pricing, customer item price list. This is going to show you basically everyone that has pricing. You can adjust these from here. Let's say you don't want Brazil to have uh, item three anymore. They're now on item six. You're more than welcome to make all your changes here. And it will transfer right into the detail of that customer. But this is going to show you everybody that has pricing. It's a very easy way to sort by a customer name, to just see a specific customer, or sort by an item name to see which customers have which item. Um, so this list is also helpful. Once you have this built, the next step is getting that to the mobile device side. Because we need to push that data up to our mobile database so when our technicians are doing the work and they hit load pricing, it auto loads all those items. Then they can just adjust those quantities. So to do that, we're going to hit Sync Mobile Devices. We're going to use this top drop-down. Ignore everything below Sync. You are not going to be using any of these. Instead of hitting Sync All, Sync All will push it up. It's going to take forever. It's going to go through every syncing option all the way down to here. If you want to get this done quickly, when you're done with your pricing, select Customer from the drop-down and hit the Sync button. When the Sync is complete, it's now on the web database also, and everything's in line. Now keep in mind, if you make any changes at all to customer-specific pricing, if you just change one customer, it doesn't matter. If you need that on the website, you have to do the sync. The, the data on the website is only as new as your latest sync, and vice versa, the data in the desktop, because these syncs are pretty much a two-way sync. They push information up and information down. In later videos, you'll see how this all comes together with the mobile device side. That's all you really need to know on customer pricing. It's a very easy tool to use, but it saves everybody a lot of time.